Learning anatomy can be the biggest struggle in art, but I think what myself and many people fail at is finding the best way to go about it. When learning anatomy, I previously only studied figure drawings and shortcuts on drawing body parts, but the mistake I made was ignoring real life. I think the perk with referencing real life is interpreting anatomy yourself, improving the learning experience. However, if you only reference other people's art, then you're only going to learn their interpretation, their take on anatomy. Don't get me wrong, I think it's really helpful to learn anatomy from anatomy art books and other people's art, but I think using photo references increases your understanding of anatomy and your understanding of the real body, giving you freedom to be more flexible and find your own style and a way of interpreting and presenting anatomy. Now on the flip side, I would say to start using art as a reference for anatomy, since I think it's more important to learn the simplification of anatomy. Learning from something like this, 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 and this, will improve your understanding of anatomy. With this you will hopefully later be able to draw a figure by using simplified shapes as your building blocks. Now, here's the fun part. What if I told you you could merge both methods? Step 1. Find a reference on Pinterest. Not Google. Please not Google. Step 2. You're going to combine what you've learned here. So what you do is you simplify the image you're copying. You still obviously copy the shape and pose, but you're going to split the body up into the key shapes. Step 3. Now, just build up from there. So essentially, you do the anatomy breakdown sketch, then onto the sketch, then move on to line art, and then on to colour, and so on. There, you just drew a picture. You can feel happy if you want to, but this is only the beginning of the long training that awaits, and the art block, and the struggles, and the self-deprecation, and the